Hi, so I'm going to be doing my movie review on Happy Gilmore. I'm going to do option one, the view of the protagonist. So the plot of Happy Gilmore is that um, Happy Gilmore, the main character, by Ad he's um, played by Adam Sandler. He is an unsuccessful hockey player, and he finds a new success in golf and is able to you know, win back a house and find the girl along the way. So two big things that Happy finds. The narrative is a child that is bound by failure, is able to find a new success and make everybody happy at the end. Protagonists are gonna be Happy Gilmore, the main character, Grandma, Happy's grandma, and then Virginia, and Chubbs, the role model for Happy Gilmore. And the antagonist is going to be Shooter. It's going to be that hater that Shooter hired to mess Happy up and then also hit him with a car. And then also I'm going to put Bob Baker as a protagonist or an antagonist as well. It seemed like he was there maybe just to make Happy like unleash the anger within. So um, I put that for the hegemonic ideals, golf is usually played by upper class white folks. And I'm gonna say that instead of maintaining the hegemonic powers, this movie destroys the hegemonic powers. You know, um, Happy represents this lower class of white people that are more or less like trailer trash then you know suit and tie um white collar white men that usually play golf where um he doesn't he beats shooter at the end shooter represents this whole you know upper class white people and you know happy brings the trailer park trash to the game to the matches whatever you want i forget what they're called holes and you know, Shooter is defeated at the end. Um, like, uh, you can just picture, like, um, the bullying between the classes where Shooter, like, tells him to go to the hole nine or whatever it is at, like, eight o'clock and the sprinklers come on. But then at the end, Happy, the lower class, gets the last laugh because they're able to defeat Shooter Sport in non, you know, um, like a non-original way and um the dream scenes definitely try to help that i think as a lower class you always want a dream scene to happy dreams that he's going to be able to defeat shooter and then shooter winds up you know messing that up just as another like battle of the classes there's two female characters main female characters there's virginia his girlfriend where she's the naggy type, you know, wants Happy to aspire, but then is going to do whatever she can to make sure he's motivated. And then Grandma is that parental figure that, you know, a lower class child wants to help. You know, she's losing her house, so he's going to do whatever Happy can to get to where he needs to get so he can get that house back for her. And I'm also going to put the, you know, there's a lower class, there's a lower tier main character the girlfriend in the beginning is the leaving because her boyfriend is a loser and then so a truth that tells a lie is going to be that um you can't go from a zero to a hero like that in a professional sport especially golf because golf takes thousands and thousands of hours to be good at it's repeatedly muscle memory it's a very unathletic sport but the, mo the muscle memory that's needed in golf is a crazy amount. And then um, there's also a tough competition. It seems like Happy is always just going against Shooter, where usually a like tournament that they have at the end is so, so substantial that everybody is a great golfer. And then um, another truth that tells a lie is that an amateur golfer I don't even want to call Happy an amateur golfer. He's a hockey player that has a golf club. 
he makes like a pro slash elite golfer's salary within the span of less than six months. He's ever he's almost able to make a quarter of a million dollars in less than three months, and then has enough money to make it at the end of the three months, and then has to play in this tour so he can wind up beating Shooter. And then um, Virginia is kind of like this perfect girlfriend because she's also the manager of Happy. He, he's able she's able to get him money from Subway when he's off the tour. And then he's, then she's also the girlfriend, you know, after one date. So she just seems like she's right for happy from the beginning, you know? And, um, like I said before, they remove all the other pro golf, like all seem like every other golfer is garbage compared to shooter and happy where that's not usually the case. I mean, Usually you have such co tight competition within that top, and it just seemed like everybody else was forgotten about but Shooter and Happy. And um, I think what they could have done, the director could have done differently, is that um, instead of comprising Happy to be such the like the idiot, I feel like they could have possibly tried to get more out of Adam Sandler. It seemed like he wasn't... He was playing the dumb character, but wasn't a dumb golfer. And he had struggles with his putting, but then once when he learns his putting, he then becomes this, like, elite tier golf player where first he just had a 400-yard drive. Now he's able to putt like he's just this godly figure. And he's able, he's just able to be, just able to be, like, neck and neck with Shooter where when he was on his game... And he was able to putt. He was just a little bit better. Where I think at that point, maybe they should have just portrayed the shooter as a better golfer than what he actually was. Mm, sorry, I went three minutes over, but I didn't think I was going to be able to be able to do everything else. It was a lot.